Welcome back guys to the channel. Um, I'm here to do a review today on the Knock On Silverback. Um, I just got it yesterday in the mail. I got it off Facebook, traded my sweet spot, no, uh, my Fulcrum Flex for this. And uh, I got a True Ball Sweet Spot Pro that I traded for a two smooth so hopefully I'll have a review coming for that as well soon anyways back to the silverback here uh, this is a true back tension it's not a hinge it's it fires on tension it's got a safety on it so you pull down see that movement right there pull it back safety's on you pull it back to your anchor point let go and then pull, pull, pull. And then after it builds up to so much poundage, it'll fire, which I've got it set up to about 14 pounds or so, 14, 15 pounds. And my holding weight is around 10 pounds or so. So I got 10 pounds when I'm, I'm holding. And then I pull, pull, pull. And then after it reached that 14 pounds of pressure or pulling, it'll fire. Um, I really like it. Um, I shot a, I was shooting the Vegas out of 300. I shot first time around, I shot a 258 with this. And then I switched over to my, uh, not to it. And I shot my highest score yet at 284. Um, I could tef definitely tell the difference of just, sometimes I'd have to just, punch a habit of just punching it a little bit and here you can't punch it nothing you can't uh anticipate a shot i guess um you just have to pull 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 and it goes off it goes off um but yeah after switching back to this one shooting another 300 or out of 300 i shot a 284 my highest score yet um i could definitely tell just relax and just pull, 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 and it. I improved my shooting a lot. I was around 270 or so. I bumped it up about 10. I haven't shot. That's the first time I've shot it uh, today. Which after shooting my knock to it, I haven't shot any more rounds with it. Um, but if you're looking to buy one, I would definitely tell it tell you it's a great investment to make and to uh, improve your shooting, your form. If your form isn't right, it'll it'll bring that out right away. Um, I could definitely tell my, my flaws I had. I was down here, like my elbow was dropped a little bit when I was pulling it back. So when I brought it up, it fired a lot easier. Um, but yeah, I'll show you a little bit how it works. Gotta pull the safety down to pull it back or else it'll go off. take it down everything i'm shooting is a little to the right because i have it sighted in for my knock to it uh john dudley says you can relatively get them close 
with the two smooth, the silver bag, and the knock to it. You just kind of keep your, I'm not a professional shooter, so I mean, my, my anchor point is a little inconsistent sometimes. And then just even just the holding weight, just pressure, bring it back and everything on the, on the string makes a difference. Um, right here, the first round, I was shooting it right around here with the silver back and right there, as you can see, and right around here. And then the knock to it, I was like right around here, as you can see right there and right there with the knock to it. Um, so my shooting in definitely in increased accuracy increased by just using the silver back and then going back to knock to it and just using that uh same form of just pulling it pulling it back um you're supposed to, that's how you're supposed to do it but i mean i sometimes i just go up and just go and i'd punch it a little bit and then i'd shoot a little high or a little left and it just frustrated me sometimes but with the silverback, you can't do that. You just gotta pull, 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 and yeah. So I didn't, I didn't even move the sight, uh, really, to bring it over, like to shoot to the left. I was shooting to the right of it, um, but then I just left it back for where my knock to it was. But yeah, if you're looking for or thinking about getting one, I would definitely recommend you to get one. I got two smooth coming too, so hopefully I'll have a review out on that before too long. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time. Something I forgot to mention here about these. These were designed on purpose to be relatively the same. If you're shooting a true ball to maybe a stand or a scot or whatever, it's your draw length might vary. Uh, the this these are the knock-on line. It's like a whole line. It's a uh, thumb release, back tension, and then a hinge release that are basically relatively right around the same. So your draw length doesn't change on really any of them. Um, the reason I was shooting right to it is because it was all because of my anchor. I didn't have a consistent anchor where I was. I'll put a picture in to where I didn't even move the sight from my knock to it. And I was like right in the 10 group, all three of them right in the 10, 10 spot or right around the 10 spot anyways. But my left and right was basically right there. Um, it was because my, my anchor, um, I'm, I'm trying to fix that, trying to focus more on where I'm anchoring and more consistency of my anchor. Um, but yeah, that's, it's, if you're shooting right and you're getting frustrated, why, or like, hey, this guy said, or John Dudley said, and you can't see why, it's all because of your, it's mostly because of your anchoring or whatever it might be. Uh, but yeah, they're all designed to be basically close to each other uh closer than most other if you go a true ball maybe a hinge or then a stand thumb release or something whatever but it's it's your anchoring uh most likely um but yeah uh, i got this one off facebook actually so if you guys want to go on there uh it's a group on facebook uh it's nothing but releases is what it is and it is you don't do anything except trade sell or buy releases whatever you want to this is a very very good condition and i didn't even give the it's basically looks basically brand new i basically couldn't tell the difference if it was brand new or not but i didn't pay the full price of of one actually i traded one of my releases for it so yeah um if you guys want to join that and you don't want to spend the money on a on a brand new one. Uh, go out, go out to Facebook, check out the Nothing But Release group. Uh, you have to ask to join there on that site. But yeah, it's it's definitely worth something checking out on Facebook. There, uh, you can basically just request whatever you're looking for, and most people will comment or something. 
there's most likely a release out there that someone is selling or trading or whatever that you're that you're looking for but you don't have to buy a brand new one so yeah i would definitely recommend you doing that if you're not wanting to buy a new one uh I know even some of the knock to it, some people are selling it on there, trading or whatever. And for the knock on archery website, most of the time it's it's out of stock or whatever. But yeah, just wanted to mention that.